Hello, Pastor Richard here with uh, First Baptist Church in Regina. I want to share with you just a short and simple thought, uh, challenge, encouragement uh, today. In John's Gospel, uh, chapter 6, we, we get one of the accounts in Scripture of the feeding of the 5,000. And uh, in verse 10 of chapter 6 in John's Gospel, we have this statement from Jesus to his disciples. Make the people sit down. Now Jesus had gone up on the hill on the mountainside uh, with his disciples. It was during one of the festivals and there was a lot of people in the area. And this crowd approaches Jesus and he and his disciples see the crowd uh, coming. And Jesus, I believe, as was normal for him uh, in the gospel, when he looked at people, he was moved with compassion. Uh, he, he had compassion, care uh, for the needs of the people around him. And I think here in this situation as well, Jesus saw the crowds. He was moved with compassion. He saw that they were hungry, that they needed sustenance. And John tells us that Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? And he said this, we're told, to, Jesus said this, to test Philip. For he knew what he was going to do. And Philip, Philip answered, Six months' wages would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. Philip sees the impossibility of this situation, the impractical uh, nature of this situation. There is no way that we can go and buy bread for these people. Uh, number one, we don't have the money. Uh, number two, where would we find that much bread uh, so quickly? And uh, so Philip has taken a very practical uh, approach in answering Jesus. But one of the other disciples, um, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to Jesus, uh, presumably to Jesus, there is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what are they among so many people? And he puts a question back uh, to Philip, perhaps, or to Jesus. There are a few loaves and a couple of fish here. Small loaves, small fish. Can something be done? And it's here at this point that Jesus says, make the people sit down. This would have been a large open area with a lot of grass, if you will. And Jesus is going to take the little and he's going to feed the multitude. It's a wonderful lesson here for us. That maybe in this season where we feel we have little uh, by way of resource, little by way of connection, or community, a little hope in what the future might hold. When we bring our little, there are a few loaves and a couple of fish. But what good are these in light of the multitude? Jesus says, make the people sit down. And he takes the little that is there and in the hands of Jesus, it is more than enough for the multitude which has gathered. I want to encourage us, challenge myself, to bring the little I have, or the little I think I have, and might question what good is this, in light of the multitude, in light of the mountain before us, in light of the 
season we are in. To bring it to Jesus and see what he can do, to see what he will do. Sometimes we think we need more. We need to find more resource. We need to find more ability. We need to find more of whatever it might be we feel we're lacking. Jesus invites us to bring what we have unto him and let him show us the more that he can give, the more that he can create and manifest in our lives as we trust him. Let him show us what good our little is in his hands, touched by his compassionate heart to meet us in our need. Wendell Berry, in one of his poems, had stated, we pray not for new earth or heaven, but to be quiet in heart and in eye clear. What we need is here. Let the Lord grant us a quiet heart, clarity of sight, that in and through Christ, what we need is here. Let the Lord bless you this day. I ask in Jesus' name. Amen.